of God I love your voice You have led me through the fire In the darkest night You are close like no other I've known you as a father I know you as a friend, and I will sing in the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I Of the goodness of God As your goodness is running out It's running after me Your goodness is running after It's running after me With my life laid down I surrender now I give you everything It's running after me And all my life you have And all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able oh, I will sing of the goodness of God Shall we do honey in the rock then? For worship, I will lead. Just follow my hands again. Yeah? There's honey in the rock, water in the stone, manna on the ground. No matter where I go, I don't need to worry now that I know Everything I need you've got, there's honey in the rock Praying for a miracle, thirsty for the living way Sweetness at the mercy seat Listen, it's not hard to see Only you can satisfy There's honey in the rock 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 Freedom where the spirit is in the wilderness You will always satisfy There's honey in the rock Water in the stone Manna on the ground No matter where I go I don't need to worry Now that I know Everything I need you've got There's honey in the rock Purpose in your plan, power in the blood, healing in your hands. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything you did's enough. I can move, I keep finding, you keep giving, keep providing. I have all that I need. You were all that. Praying, you keep moving. I keep praising, you keep proving. I have all that I need. You are all that I need. I have all that I need. You are all that I need. There's honey in the rock, water in the stone, manna on the ground. No matter where I go, I don't need to worry now that I know. Everything I need you've got It's honey in the rock Purpose in your plan
Hello everybody, can we, can we just take our seats? We're about to start now. Guys, shall we pray real quick? Oh, that's fine. Can you just stay here? Cues, bridge, chorus, and then Felicia fading off this. So we'll stop and start this.
the groom with his parents, Jennifer and Philip. beautiful bride join her groom but before we do that we have a very cute ring bearer um, Callum and his um, uh, sister we've got Ella and they're gonna be coming down the aisle first you may all take your seats while they do that so all the glory to the only one who can Jesus it's you and I believe you're the wonder-working God, you're the wonder-working God. All the miracles I've seen, you're too good to not believe, you're the wonder-working Amazing, amazing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, can I please invite us all to stand up as we welcome Ronali, the bride with her parents, J.K. and Christopher. Could it really be this easy That you love me like you say you do I've got years and years of striving When there was Could it really be this simple? Your kindness changes everything It's like your grace is on a mission To tear down my religion You're all I really need Can we just take a moment and celebrate this beautiful couple that's in front of us right now? <laughs> awesome. Well, you know, before we start this, um, Dilshan and Renali are 
devoted followers of Jesus and they love God and they want to just take a moment to commit this special moment to God. So we're going to open up with prayer and I'm just going to invite uh, Pastor Pia, my beautiful wife, to come and open uh, this ceremony. Special moment in time. And we thank you, Father God, for an open heaven above us, God, above this beautiful couple. We dedicate this moment to you, Lord Jesus, and we give you all the glory. That thank you, Lord. You know, we're going to take some time to worship. And I want to encourage you not to just sing the words, but let, let yourself encounter God as you worship, because this is a moment of encounter and how special to do it as we witness their union. Amen. shine upon you be gracious to you Lord of his face towards you and give you peace Lord bless you and keep you make his face shine upon will 
will see of the goodness of God. And all my life you have been faithful. And all my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am made, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Your voice, you have led me through the fire in the darkest night. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father, I've known you as a friend, and I have lived in the goodness of God. This is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. When my life laid down, I'm surrendered now. I give you everything. It's running after me. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord, that you are good and thank you for your presence in this place. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You may all take your seats. Amazing. Well, we're going to keep going, and I'm just going to invite Dushan's sister, Marianne, to come up, and uh, she's going to read a Bible verse that was handpicked by Dushan and Ronali. So over to you, Marianne. You. 1 John 4.12 No one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us, and his love is made complete in us. Amen. Thank you very much, Marianne. You know, um, Dushan and Ronali just asked if I could share a little bit uh, on their wedding day around that scripture. And uh, most of you here, actually all of us here, would know Dushan and Ronali, or at least one of them. And I'm sure you'd all agree and say that they're both uh, very um, creative people. Yeah, I can see a lot of nods. They're very entrepreneurial. Yeah, I see more nods in that. And they are actually people who love people. Yeah, I can see a few warm, warm smiles on that one as well, which is so nice. And you know, the truth is that you see that both in both of them. And the beautiful thing about both of you is that you have so many similarities, and that's such a good thing. But just like the weather today, you know, we go through seasons and stages in our marriage. And there are times, like Marianne just read from the scripture, where we'll find ourselves where love isn't just a feeling anymore. It has to be deeper than that feeling. And love comes to this one place where you realize it's a choice. Love is a choice. It's beyond the feeling. And th that's, those are the moments where you get to experience the love of God in you. And here's a beauty thing, beautiful thing about the love of God. It's not a response. The love of God is not reactive. The love of God is proactive. It's 
shows initiative every time. And so beyond what we feel in our circumstances, his love remains the initiator. He doesn't wait for us to get our life right in order to love us. He chooses to love us where we at and take us on the journey with him and for you guys that's your story but even for all of us over here whatever seasons and stages in life we're in we're going to experience times where we need his love and i can tell you right now it's not a choice god has to make he already loves you he already loves you and it's just a choice of accepting the invitation and so if you're here today and you go i don't know god perhaps i did but i've walked away from him i'm just going to say a little prayer in fact we're all going to pray this together but i would love it if we could all just place our hands on our heart and if this is for you why don't you receive his love today it's an open invite there's no condition his love is unconditional and that's what your marriage is going to look like it's going to be unconditional love towards one another so i'm going to open up the invite to everybody over here so why don't we just close our eyes right now put your hand on your heart and we're going to pray this father we just thank you lord that your love is consistent constant and unconditional and right now where we're at lord we ask lord that your presence would come and where there is a need for love that you would fill every void with your love by your spirit that we have the freedom of access to because of what you did on the cross, Jesus. Amen. 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 Well, thank you very much. We're going to continue with the ceremony. I'm going to ask Dilshan and Ronali to join me up over here. So why don't you both stand? Amazing. Well, while we're doing that, I'm just going to take a moment and I'm going to invite uh, Ronali's parents to stand up. So if I could just ask Ronali's mom and dad to stand up. Thank you very much for standing up. I have a very important question for you today. Do you give your daughter, Ronali, to be married to Dilshan? Yeah. Amazing. That was a yes and it was a loud one. That's good. Please remain standing. I'm also just going to take a moment to invite uh, Dilshan's parents to stand up as well. So if I could get Philip and Jennifer to stand up. Thank you very much. I have a very important question for you too. Do you give your son Dilshan to be married to Ronali today? Amazing. Another yes as well. That was good. That's brilliant. That's good. Well, you know, uh, Dilshan and Ronali acknowledge that this life that they have wasn't something they did all by themselves, but there was love, sacrifice, and grace that came from their parents. So they just want to take a moment right now to honor their mom and dad. And can we join them as we applaud them and thank them for being the parents that they have been to Dilshan and Ronali? Amazing. Please take your seats. All right, well, mom and dad have said yes. So I have some important questions for the two of you. Um, uh, Ranali, I'm going to um, start with you. It's a very important question. Ranali, do you freely give yourself to Dilshan to be his wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I do. Amazing. Okay. Well, Dushan, I have a very important question for you too. Dushan, do you freely give yourself to Ronali to be her husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love her, to comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her, for as long as you both shall live. I do. Amazing, brilliant. Can we give them a round of applause? Well, Dilshan and Ronali are about to say their vows to one another. And you know, vows are not just words. 
in this space, as we say these vows and we hear them say these vows, they're actually giving themselves to each other. The recipient is receiving the other person through this vow. So as they declare their vows to one another in this covenant, let's agree with them. Let's say our amens and stand with them. All right, so this is what's going to happen. Rinaldi and Dilshan, I'm going to ask you to say some vows. Um, and this, this is you guys actually giving yourselves to one another. It's not just beautiful, it's powerful. All right, so I'm going to start with you, Dilshan. Just repeat after me, okay? okay. I, Dilshan. I, Dilshan. Take you, Ronali. Take you, to be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In, sickness and in, health. in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To death do us part. I pledge to always be faithful to you. I pledge to always be faithful to you. This is the covenant. This is the covenant. I make to you today. I make to you today. Amazing. Ronali, it's your turn. I, Ronali, take you, Dilshan, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, from this day forth, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. I pledge to always be faithful to you. This is the covenant I make to you today. This is the covenant I make to you today. Amazing, amazing. Well, I'm going to invite Dinali to just bring the rings. Dilshan Ronali, you know, um, uh, rings are a symbol and they actually carry a lot of significance. And 12 years, 11 years ago when I got married, my pastor shared something with us on our wedding day. And I want to share that with you today because it never left me. And he spoke to us about these rings. They're round and that's actually a symbol of God's unending love. It doesn't have a beginning. It doesn't have an end. And in your marriage, you get to carry the same thing. In these rings, there's no weak spots it's equal in all the way and as much as these rings don't have power in themselves you wearing them is a reminder that in this marriage it's not just your covenant to one another but you have one who is unbreakable unshakable and he is with you in this marriage so it's a beautiful symbol of just reminding yourselves that this wedding this marriage that you have is beyond just the two of you but you have a third cord God himself in this marriage with you. So I'm going to ask Dilshan if you can just take the ring you want to place onto Ronali's finger. Thank you. Ronali, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love for you my covenant to be your husband and to be faithful to you as long as we both shall live. Ronali, you may take the ring. Dilshan, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love for you, my covenant to be your wife, my covenant to be your wife and, to be to you, and to be faithful to you as long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Amazing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, We've witnessed them give their consent to marry one another. We've seen them declare their vows to each other and even put the rings on each other's fingers. This is a holy moment. It's a moment that is set apart 
And we're going to take some time right now to just seal and bless this marriage. So I'm going to invite some people that are very important to Dilshan and Renali. I'm going to invite Roshan and Rasika to join us mm -hmm. at the front over here. I'm going to invite Kerry and Chris to join us up here at the front as well. And Pia as well. If you can all come over here, that would be great. And as we pray for them... Why don't you stretch out your hand and declare your amen over them as we seal this time and set it apart. Yeah, let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for this couple that I've seen the sparkle in their eye when they talk about you, Jesus. And I've seen the sparkle in their eye when they look at each other. I see the optimism that you have given them to believe that the best is yet to come. So, Lord, we just claim this marriage for you, for one that will glorify you, that will honor you. I pray, God, that you would give them favor. I pray that they would walk in forgiveness with each other, that they would walk as, as just co-workers for you, Lord, and that their businesses would glorify you. Everything they do would glorify you. I thank you for this new business, Lord. It is the Lord who gives the ability to make wealth, your word says. So I pray that they would honor you with that, Lord. And I pray that you would bless them with abundance, with prosperity, which is having everything they need to do everything that you've called them to do. So today, Lord, we give just gratitude. We give thanks to you, Lord. You have brought them together. Every good, good and perfect gift comes down from the Father. And you have blessed this, this family and all of us to know them. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. We bless them today. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this moment that is the beginning of the rest of their life. We thank you that your word says you have gone before them and you have prepared good works. And we thank you, God, that their relationship began with them united and it will continue united. We declare that upon them, Father God. You know, as, as we've been journeying with you both, the one thing God keeps saying and that I keep hearing is to fix your gaze upon him. Fix your gaze. Make room every day to fix your gaze upon him. And as you look unto him, you, with, as you look unto him, through him, you will have all things. But he says, seek me and fix your gaze upon him. And so God, as they fix their gaze upon you daily as a husband and wife, we thank you, Father God, that they will see the glory, the goodness, the kindness, the mercy, and the nature of you. And their marriage will be the benefit, will bear the benefit of your kingdom. Their marriage will bear the benefit of your nature. Their love will blossom from strength to strength. Your word will outlive in their life and their marriage. We release that blessing over them right now. That they are worthy and open-hearted to receive the true measure of your word. Lord God, let their marriage be built on you, which is the rock that will not shake them. It is the rock that will not come in to destroy them. I thank you, Father God, that they do not stand on shallow ground. They have entered into this union on solid ground because they seek you. So, Father God, we pray for a hedge of protection around their marriage, around the future of their marriage, and the blessing of their marriage. We declare that no weapon formed against them has prospered and no weapon formed against them will prosper. Yes. We thank you, Father God, that you surround them, that you keep them, that your face shines upon them. And you are for them, so who shall be against them? So, Father, we stand in the honor of surrounding them and lifting them to fix their gaze upon you. And we declare that they will walk in the richness of your love, the freedom of your mercy, and the kindness of your embrace. So thank you, Father God. We cut away the things of this world. And we thank you that they walk in the kingdom way. And they will bring forth a blessing from your kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. So thank you, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen.
Pastor Dilshan and Runali. As I said, the Lord wanted me to not miss out any word, so I had to write it down. And this will be part of your wedding gift. But even as I walked in and even as I sat when the, when the ceremony did began, I started tearing because there was such a presence of God. And I believe it is the Father in heaven shedding tears of joy. And that's why you had a sprinkle of rain just at 4 o'clock. But it ceased so that the ceremony can go on. So as I was waiting on the Lord for a word, I saw a vision. A glistening lady's shoe, Ronali, I don't know what it meant. For the Spirit of the Lord said, just as the shoe fitted Cinderella, so shall I fit you together. For I am bringing a union of my Esther and Joseph for such a time as this. Ronali, the Spirit of the Lord says, you are my myrtle, Hadassah, meaning evergreen. Myrtle is a white flower with a white or blue colored berries. This plant is not too tall, just like you, and is used for wedding bouquets too. White speaks of purity and blue is a heavenly color. The Spirit of the Lord says, Ronali, you will carry the fresh breath of life to bring peace, joy, generosity and justice to the people trapped and lost in darkness. For I have set you as a star because Esther is a star, the meaning of Esther, that brings light and direction for the ones who seek truth. Remember, just as Esther found the favor of the king's scepter and you, daughter, can approach me anytime, and my scepter will always be extended to you. For this day you are brought together for such a time as this to stand for the truth of the word of God. The Lord says to you, this is my beloved daughter, whom I love for her heart of purity and steadfast spirit. Because of this nature, you were and will be envied by many, just as Cinderella was. As you pr prepared for the wedding, there was a lot of measuring to get the bridal to fit. And the Spirit of the Lord says, Ronali, today I fit you with your shoe of destiny and appoint you as my ambassador of truth. And to you, Dilshan, your life has been like Joseph, imprisoned for no fault. And the word of the God says that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord says today, I robe you with the coat of many colors that represents the Father's love and restore you back to be the man I call you to be. Just as Pharaoh named Joseph Saphonet Penia, the Spirit of the Lord says you will be the man who reveals mysteries, for I shall reveal to you the hidden things, my son. Today, as you both exchange rings, I give you the signet ring of my authority, and I robe you with my royal robes of fine linen that will give you my distinction, for you are called to take care and preserve life of the people I bring in contact with you. Then I heard in my spirit, a word which I, I immediately did not fathom. It was the word unrecognizable. And the Spirit of the Lord led me to Genesis 42, 8 says, And Joseph recognized his brothers, but they did not recognize him. Just as God prospered Joseph to such a level that he was unrecognizable to his brothers, he became royalty, so shall the Lord do to you as he adds and brings increase to your life. Dilshan and Ronali, for the Spirit of the Lord says, I want you to be set apart for me, totally consecrated for my glory, for I am getting ready to make you unrecognizable and unexplainable, for there will be no rational explanation of this blessing, for you were empty and I will make you full. Full of my blessings and full of my favor. My blessings over your life will cause you to be unexplainable and unrecognizable. For you will be my chosen vessels. For this day I give you the second chariot to travel. And my chariot will always go before you. So if you want, if anyone wants to get to you, they have to face me first. The Spirit of the Lord says, Dilshan and Ronali, for the blessings I gave Joseph will be your fruit too. I will make you to forget the troubles of your past and make you fruitful where you are. Those are the meanings of the two children Joseph had. So Father, as even as you gave this word, I release this to your children, Lord. May the anointing of the Lord come upon them, Lord. May them be today cocooned with the fire, Lord. Thank you for the presence of the God and the anointing of the Lord. Father, I pray and I crown them with your loving kindness and tender mercies. And I pray, Father, that from this day forth, when they go, Lord, the goodness of God will go before them even as it went before Moses. But the goodness and mercy will also follow them unto the ends of their day. In Jesus' name I pray. 
Amen. We seal every prayer, everything that has been spoken of you. And I just want to end with this one scripture that says in Romans 28, 28, it says, and we know that all things, in all things God works for the good of those who love him and have been called according to his purpose. That is for you. We declare that we know that in all things God, our God works together for those, you, Dilshan and Ronali, because you love him and are called according to his purpose. So Father, we thank you that their marriage is bigger than just them. It has a purpose to shine your glory wherever it goes. It is an example of the love of Christ in this earth and around them, Lord, that people will look at their marriage and recognize it and go, ah, there's something on this marriage that is different, Lord, a purpose beyond them in the largeness of marriage. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Well, thank you, uh, Chris and Carrie, Roshan and Rasika. You can take your seats. Well, Dilshan and Runali are going to uh, take a moment to go and sign the register. But while that happens, uh, please be seated. The band is going to be singing a song that they handpicked while we wait for them. And then we will continue and finish the ceremony. Honey in the rock, water in the stone, manna on the ground, no matter where I go. I don't need to worry now that I know everything I need you've got. There's honey in the rock. Praying for a miracle, thirsty for the living well. Sweetness at the mercy seat. Now I've tasted, it's not hard to see. Only you can satisfy. It's honey in the rock, in the wilderness. You will always satisfy. There's honey in the rock, water in the stone. On the ground, no matter where I go, I don't need to worry now that I know everything I need. You got this honey in the rock, purpose in your plans, power in the blood, healing in your hands. So the boy, man, you said it is done. Everything you did's enough. This honey in the rock. Honey in the rock, water in the stone, manna on the ground, no matter where I go. I don't need to worry now that I know everything you need you've got. Honey in the rock, purpose in your plans, power in the blood, healing in your hands. Sun of flowing when you said it is done. Everything you did's enough. I keep looking, I keep finding, you keep giving, keep providing, I have all that I need, you are all that I need, I keep praying, you keep moving, I keep praising, you keep proving, I have all that I need, you are all that I need, I keep looking, I keep finding, you keep giving, keep providing. I have all that I need. You are all that I need. I keep praying. You keep moving. I keep praising. You keep proving. I have all that I need. You are all that I need. I keep looking. I keep finding. You keep giving, keep providing. I have all that I need. You are all that I need. I keep praying. You keep moving. I keep praising. You keep proving. I have all that I need. You are all that I need. There's honey in the rock, water.
water in the stone, manna on the ground, no matter where I go. I don't need to worry now that I know everything I need you've got. There's honey in the rock, purpose in your plans, power in the blood, healing in your hands. Started flowing when you said it is done. Jesus, who you are is enough. There's honey in the rock, water in the stone, manna on the ground, no matter where I go. I don't need to worry now that I know everything I need you've got. There's honey in the rock, water in the stone, manna on the ground, no matter where I go. I don't need to worry now that I know everything I need you've got. There's honey in the rock. Thirsty for the living well, only you can satisfy. Sweetness at the mercy seat, tasted, it's the heart to see, only you can satisfy. There's honey in the rock, there's honey in the rock. There's honey in the rock, there's honey in the rock. There's honey in the rock, water in the stone, manna on the ground, no matter where I go. Everything I need, you've got. There's honey in the rock, purpose in your plans. Healing in your hands, started flowing when you said it is done. Everything I need, you've got. There's honey in the rock, water in the stone, manna on the ground, no matter where I go. I don't need to worry now that I know. Everything I need, you've got. There's honey in the rock. There's honey in the rock, water in the stone, manna on the ground, no matter where I go. I don't need to worry now that I know everything I need you've got. There's honey on the rock, purpose in your plans, power in the blood, healing in your hands, sort of flowing when you said it is done Jesus who you are is enough there's honey in the rock
Well, Dilshan Renali, in as much as you have agreed to live in holy matrimony, uh, declared and promised your love to one another through the exchange of your vows and the exchange of the rings and the holding of your hands, <laughs> I now pronounce you husband and wife. Whom God puts together, let no man separate. Amen. Although, well, Shan, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Dushan, you may now kiss your bride. Woo! Look, I, I think that might have been a bit too quick for the cameras. There's a few that missed over there as well. So um, can we just do a rerun of that one again? Amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, please be up and standing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael. And that's all I need to get down on my knees and be thankful for all that he's done for my mama, for my friends, for your love that never ends, for the songs that make us dance on this old dirt floor, for my babies, for my girl, for the way they change my world. And waking up today, yeah, I just gotta say thank you, Lord. times for lighting the way in the dark times for pulling me in for giving again the times that i took it too far i gotta thank you for keeping me humble for picking me up when i stumble and although i change you stay the same and i don't say thank you enough for my mama for friends for your love that never ends for the songs that make us dance on this old dirt floor. 